if you're trying to pick the next book you're going to read, don't do anything. I'm going to tell you what to read, what the book is, and we're even going to talk to the author. So stick around because our next guest is Darlene Cannon, who's the author of these books, uh, uh, Dolly Gal, Peacock, and the Serpent. Welcome, Darlene. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Tell our viewers where you are. Somewhere in California, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, this book, I'm going to put the cover up for our viewers to see, Dolly Gal, Peacock, and the Serpent, The Awakening. Tell us a bit about that book. Well, The Awakening, um, <clears throat> it's a base, like a, a backdrop with a little girl, mm -hmm. Dolly Gal, and her two brothers. One is Peacock and one is Serpent. Uh, it never goes into any detail of uh, any, any, any deeper physical uh, resemblance of them at all. It's, it just is what it is. Okay. So it's more of a, it's more of a, um, I've had many uh, comments uh, about the book and I, and I love all the comments because uh, from children on up to middle school and up to adults uh, like it. And uh, that's what I like about it. I like for everyone to, to get it in their own way, in their own way, own understanding. So Dolly Gal is a very open-minded, you would say, little girl. And uh, any, anything in her head, you know, goes, which turns out to be uh, what should, what should be. And so Peacock and Serpent, like, Serpent represents the opposite of anything positive or good. <laughs> He, he thinks that's great, and you'll see as you go on, you'll see how all this comes together. And then uh, her brother Peacock, he is like the uh, nobility. You would call him like no, stand for nobility and protection. He's real protective of Galaga. So all three, what I what I see from the books is all three, like Galaga, she's uh, love, hope, and charity. That's that's her uh, things with herself, and uh, as the as the stories go on, as the it's not a um, it's not a, a fable or or anything like that. It's uh, it's adventures, but it's the adventure of into your own enlightenment on however you may see that, and it it turns out that all of these personalities, all, everything about you is everything you need. And it's your own personal journey going along. So it turns out the, you know, with them being brothers and sisters, all different aspects are needed. Yeah, you know, when I first looked at this book, I thought uh, maybe it was a kid's book, but I think it's for everybody, am I correct? Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. Who did you write it for in particular? Did you write it for everybody, or is there one main group? Or no, no, I I just um, I just wrote it, and uh, when I'm writing it, it's it's universal. Yeah, I get a universal feeling when I'm writing the book, and I'll tell you, I I enjoy writing it. I do because yeah. it, it seems like if, if I could clarify that, I would say. Um, it's just as exciting to see what's going on as I'm writing the as book. As you're writing it, yeah. <laughs> that has to be exciting. Now, and what yeah. would you call the genre? Is what? The genre of the book. Uh, it's a, I would put it as a spiritual. Spiritual, okay. Spiritual, but yet um, it's kind of hard to, that's the one that you put it in. Right. But once you get going, you will see that it's that and then it's, it's it's here as well. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, yeah. Now before it, it, before we get too far or run out of time, uh, I just sort of stumble upon another book cover of yours. Here it is, conquering ego, the return to the extraordinary. Uh, yeah, so sounds well, kind of the same genre. One, is that right? Yes, that one uh, is uh, the third. Is that that's after awakening? Okay. So you got the awakening, and then you have. The conquer an ego. Okay. The return to the extraordinary. So they uh, they combine. They actually go together. So when one 
when the, the awakening finished, this one takes over. Okay, I got them in the <laughs> wrong, wrong order, but I've got it correct now. Uh, yes. I got a feeling when you read the one, you're going to want to read the next one, too. Yes, yes, yes. And that's what's been happening with, uh, I mean, a lot of comments. I love hearing from the people and love hearing about, you know, their, their different ways of receiving it and um, getting that. They'll tell me how they're getting the message for their own. And I love that. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah. I bet you love the feedback. Now, yeah. um, also, by the way, we have your web address, the best web address I've ever seen, bepeacelove.com. <laughs> what would our viewers find if they visit there? They'll find more on there, more about myself. They'll, they'll uh, find more details on, on, um, on myself, how I view things, how I view my, my, my views. Mm -hmm. And uh, other characters from the book, like characters they, they read in the, that one and this one, they'll find characters there. Uh, up in uh, new coming things, there's uh, another one that I, I'm writing right now. It'll it'll be on there as well. Okay, that was my next question. What's next, Darlene? Uh, well, my uh, the ones that I'm writing now, I'll tell you the title. It's called Miss Piggy Wiggy Boo and Miss Pretty Pee Pee Winkle. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it, it's quite exciting. It's. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of different, but yet it has uh, you know power and and uh, utilizing power and helping others and things you know yeah it's kind of the same. So, we're always that's my, yeah we're my always talking about genres and th about books. Yours kind of skates over a lot of areas, but would you call them inspirational books? Yes, yes, yes. They're very inspirational books with. Um, Without, um, without telling you, hey. you, you discover yourself because it's each, you have to choose, I, I believe. Yeah. You have to choose. And that's why I love when I hear from the people and what they get because uh, they get certain things and, uh, and they go with it. And then some people write where they, they can't believe what they just got and yet maybe they didn't um, pursue that or, or in their life. A lot of different stuff that I just love hearing from, uh, from yeah. people yeah. about the books. And I totally get what they're saying because I, I appreciate how they get it. <laughs> if I, I'm asking all kinds of crazy questions. You're so nice about them today. If I'm going to buy this book for somebody, who should I buy it for? A kid, an adult, somebody struggling, somebody who's confused, somebody trying to change their life and get more successful? Or all of those. I was about to say that. I would yeah. say all of those. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that I feeling strongly from your book that uh, uh, that it really meets uh, people where they are. Um, and you say what people get out of the book themselves. Are people finding different things? Different people find totally different things out of your book? The, uh, placing it upon their own journey. Yeah. Like they'll speak and they'll uh, they'll get it to what they feel with it and uh, it's correct and then say another 200 people they're all in the same mindset mm -hmm. as they're answering but yet they're affiliating with themselves yeah. and everything it's lovely I, I, I love it that's great I love it. that's yeah. great I love it. Um, well I tell you I went to Amazon I know they're probably for sale in all kinds of different places but I just like to look at Amazon right before we come on the air. I typed in Darlene Cannon, all these books pop up, and uh, they just look fantastic. And uh, if you want to know more about Darlene, go to her website right there, uh, bepeacelove.com, bepeacelove.com. I can't say it straight, but uh, what a great website. And uh, go find out about her, and you'll be inspired too. Uh, Darlene, we're almost out of time. I just want to give you a minute to say anything you want about your books, about uh, uh, the world in general, or anything you want to say. Probably something simple as okay. I hope everyone you know who reads it enjoys it, and uh, it it uh, resonates mm. with them or or doesn't resonate, and they find it something new that they like or or particularly maybe was uh, not into, and now 
I've, I've gotten people like that as well. So yeah. I'm open to just uh, the book. I believe that this type of, of uh, conversation and journeys need to be spoken about mm -hmm. in this particular time. It always do, but it really in this particular time, yeah. this type of conversation that goes on needs to be spoken. Yeah. Very good. And and uh, and received or, or or you know whatever. But that's that's my whole thing behind it. I, I really feel it needs to be the conversation needs yeah. to be spoken at this time. Mm -hmm. well, I like to say this about this type of book as our sign off is that. Uh, uh, this type of book, inspirational and self-exposing and just maybe something that gives somebody a lift. When I go to order, I don't click once and order once. I buy five of them and give them to people. I think you'll change people's lives with this book. So buy a few copies and give them out. That's what I love to do, Darlene. Thank you so much yeah. for taking the time. We've been struggling to get Car uh, Darlene on the air for a couple of months. I'm so happy we finally made it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we finally made it. And Thank I hope, you. I, I hope Thank you every time. I hope you'll come back, Darlene, because you're a lot of fun and, and inspirational in yourself. So uh, Thank you. All right, we'll talk to you next time. And we'll be back okay. with we'll be back with another author right after this.